Hey everybody, Jake Reichbart here. Today I'm going to share with you a lengthy lesson excerpt. So have your guitars ready and we're going to have some fun together arranging a song. Perhaps you've seen some of my many hundreds of solo guitar arrangements I have here on YouTube and the inspiration for these arrangements is right here behind me as you can see. I grew up with this with these vinyls and uh, I draw pretty much from any kind of style imaginable from the pop music of the past hundred years. Everything from Glenn Miller to Van Halen, Alan Holsworth to Motown, and pretty much anything in between. Beatles, I have perhaps uh, 25 Beatles song arrangements, 20 Steely Dan song arrangements, same for uh, Stevie Wonder, rock, hard rock, Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, and of course tons and tons of classic jazz standards from the 40s and 50s, bebop, dance tunes, movie themes. And if you want to learn how to arrange any of these songs for solo guitar, I can teach you. Just like the excerpt that you're about to watch, which comes from a lesson that runs about 90 minutes, I have nearly 200 additional titles and they are mostly song specific. I enjoy teaching through specific songs because I can show you hands-on how I approach arranging a song. What's nice about these lessons is that I don't just tell you do this and you're done, but rather I'll take you through three or four or five different ways to play the same passage. I'll work with you on dynamics, on articulation, and a hundred other things that you cannot just put to paper. As I mentioned, these lessons run approximately 90 minutes. The introduction, which runs usually 15 minutes, focuses on the right hand and rhythm. And in this introduction, I go through my three pillars of rhythmic arranging. The first principle being melody and bass only. The second being rhythmic arpeggiation. And the third, of course, the down stroke that I play with my right hand fingernails to produce that backbeat that everybody asks me about. Nevertheless, I do have two main method lessons. The first one, how to arrange any song for solo guitar running two hours, and also an introduction to fingerstyle guitar and solo guitar arranging running two hours and 40 minutes. The information about these lessons, the cost, my full lesson list, as well as a link to the full performance of the song that we're working on today is below in the information. So expand the information, take a look, and let's get started. As I mentioned, I start the arrangement with three voicings and I play them in a manner that in my mind represents or imitates what the orchestra does on the George Benson recording and I start with this voicing which is a kind of a D major 9 and nice about these voicing is that they incorporate fretted notes up the neck or down the neck with open strings and that I think is one of the most beautiful sounds you can produce on the guitar is that blend of open strings and fretted notes at any rate the first voicing incorporates the open E and open B strings and I finger four notes on the bottom four strings and from the bottom those notes are going to be the a on the sixth string fifth fret also the d on the fifth string fifth fret the f sharp on the fourth string fourth fret as well as the c sharp on the third string sixth fret a and D are played with my fingers two and three, the F sharp with my first finger, and then the C sharp with my four, fourth finger. And as I mentioned, also the top B and E string. So you have the fifth, the root, the three, the major seven, the ninth, actually that's the six, excuse me, is the sixth of D and the E is in fact the ninth so as full of sound as you can get you have the triad the triad is at the bottom you also have the major seven the thirteenth or the sixth and the ninth and what I do with my right hand 
is something that is more of a classical technique. I'm not very good at it. I just make some kind of a noise. I start with a strum. And th then do this kind of thing where I, my thumb, I kind of... I'll play the bass notes, the D and the A. And with the remaining fingers, I will kind of drag them up the strings. The idea, again, is in my mind, my mind as a filter uh, of what I hear, is what the strings are doing kind of by playing that, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, just sustaining the chord but with like quick motions of, of the bow over the strings. So, D major ninth. Second voicing is an F major seven, also an F major ninth, in fact. I play with my first finger, the F, on the sixth string, first fret. I double that with my pinky. I play the F on the fourth string, third fret. Although you can also play any of these notes, you can also play the E as the major 7, but for now let's keep it here. So F and F. I also hit the open G, which is the ninth. My second finger plays the C on the second string, first fret, and the open E on top, which kind of ties with the, with the first chord. That is the major seven. So you have the, the one, the root, the ma the another root or major seven. The ninth is the open G. Your five is the C on the second string, first fret, and your major seven on top the E. And I do this kind of same kind of thing with my right hand. Slide back to the fifth position, but now I play a different chord. Now I play an A. Now I play the notes A on the 6th string 5th fret, also the E, or with my pinky, on the 5th uh, string 7th fret, with my fingers 2 and 3, I also play on the 6th fret strings 4 and 3, the notes G sharp, and C sharp. So now I have to gather, and along with those four notes, also the open E and B, although now they have, of course, a different function because they're playing against a different root. So again, A, E, G sharp, C sharp, along with the B and E. So you have the one, the five, major seven, the three, the B is the 9, of course. And another 5 on the top. And I do the same kind of thing. These are the three voicings, but what is the actual order of the chords? So I start with, with a D. F. A. Back to F. I leave back to D and kind of let it drop off before I start with the rhythm. So it's kind of a mirror image of itself. D, F, A, F, D. Once again. stop it with kind of a tap or let it fizzle out. And start with the rhythm with the bass line. <laughs> 